my dear friends welcome to raj shekhar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 578 in this lecture we will try to understand which algorithm to choose which optimizers to use the big question for you is which optimizer to use when we have seen the spectrum of optimizers mini batch sgd momentum based approaches nag then we have seen ada uh, ada grad with adaptive gradients ada delta and rms prop type of algorithms then we have seen adam isn't it just try to recall these are the spectrum of algorithms that we learn these are uh, there are many more algorithms but these are the most popular ones there is a huge literature of uh, uh, tons of algorithms in deep learning but these are the most popular ones that um, these are the most popular ones that we discussed let me show you the visualization very nice uh, visualization just see this uh, um, this particular uh, visualization if you go uh, you can find uh, this in lot of places uh towards data science there are many places where you can find this particular uh, diagram imagine i am at a saddle point this is like a saddle point so it compares various algorithm algorithms it compares various algorithms it looks at uh, sgd sgd with uh, momentum nag isn't it it looks at uh, sgd and sgd with uh, momentum nag ada grad ada delta and rms prop rms prop except adam all the major algorithms are here in the, uh, all the major algorithms are here in this visualization we notice that your ada delta is converging fast just uh, uh, understand this ada delta is converging fast see that you are uh, yellow line uh, moving fast corresponding to ada delta other ones like you are momentum based uh, approaches uh, also converges isn't it which is uh, a green line taking longer time your momentum based techniques took took a while to uh, to get out of uh, uh, saddle point problem but if you take simple mini batch sgd just un understand this uh, mini batch mm, sgd what is this you are red red one mini batch sgd is, uh, SGD is uh, red one is always stuck there it's not able to come out the saddle point problem so the big advantage of momentum based technique is also getting getting uh, getting rid of uh, or avoiding the issue of uh, avoiding the issue of getting stuck at saddle point most of the other algorithms yes most of the other algorithms except your mini batch can get stuck at local optima or to be very specific at saddle point so you should always use you, you should always use what you have to use uh, you, you should always uh, you should always use mini batch sgd only when you have only when you have the small neural network very very small or shallow neural network and if you are noticing that you may be enc encountering the problem of saddle point so wh when do you uh, know that you are uh, you are uh, you are stuck at saddle point if 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 uh, with each epoch let's say this is your uh, training loss on y axis loss means what training loss Uh, with each epoch you are not changing much you are you, you are stuck you are stuck here you are not changing at all isn't it here if you observe you are not after some stage after some stage just see you are not changing at all just observe this one this is not changing at all isn't it no it's not changing one of the uh, it's not changing at all one of the reasons could be this is your local optima isn't it this is your local optima there could there are two cases here it could be local minima which is perfectly all right or it could be a saddle point and in simple sgd or mini batch sgd cannot come out of your 
saddle point very easily so your momentum and uh, your uh, moment so your momentum and uh, energy your momentum and energy work fairly well in most cases isn't it in most uh, i will repeat so your momentum and energy work very very well in in most cases but they are sometimes slow if you if you notice this diagram itself just notice this your momentum much slower than ada delta and other advanced algorithms so uh, so works well in many cases but slower typically slower especially when you have sparse data ada grad ada grad is very good because if you have sparse data or sparse features but it is better to use but it is uh, 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 but but it is better to use ada delta based approaches because the convergence here is faster typically adam is one of the most uh, uh, one of the most favorite algorithm and it is also one of the fastest algorithm as far as convergence is concerned my favorite algorithm is always my favorite algorithm is always uh, has been adam there are some advances to add adam but adam is one of the most uh, adam is one of the most used algorithm in the whole literature but to introduce but to introduce to adam i want to walk through you all of these algorithms that you understand and uh, appreciate the value of adam appreciate the value of adam and understand why we came to the concept of adam it gives you lot of clarity on what algorithms and what some of these uh, great algorithms i request all of you to go through this lecture if you have any uh, difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much